What's up, y'all? Fit the Lux is not back again with another video for you guys. So this is a get ready me. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, y'all. We are over 200 subscribers, but hopefully the end of next year, I mean this year. But if I gotta bring it on to like next year, I'm fine with that. But I have a job now. I work at McDonald's, and we're going to get ready with me. I'm going to talk to you guys about a few things. This is a life update, too, because I didn't want to just sit down and do masks. I wanted to be active while I was doing it, and I got an orthodontist appointment. So we're getting ready for both of those. I'm about to. This hoodie, I already took a shower. This hoodie is freshly put on, so after I put on my work shirt, I'm putting this right back on. So, yeah. But I need to wash my face. And oil slash grease my scalp, whatever. And the reason I wear this headband is because the thinness, literally this, it just goes thin, it straight just goes thin, that, not that. Literally the thin spots are just so annoying. And I like to tuck my ends under because I feel like it's unnecessary for people to see. But due to the fact of this video where I'm going to have to oil my scalp, we're just going to keep it out. Y'all, I have not been in the best place lately. My mental state of mind right now is not a... It's like, well, I don't know. I think I said it in one video. My dog died, as everyone would know. His name is Prince. He died tomorrow at 5 a.m. two weeks ago. Uh, today's Wednesday, the 20th, 30th? 30th. I really don't know. I actually don't care. He died on, like, the 17th. And, like, I've already been in a terrible state of mind lately. But, like, that just topped it all, to be honest. And it has really affected me. Because that dog is my first dog that I can remember. Uh, I had another one named Boss, but I can't remember him whatsoever. I have a picture of him. But, and that man came into my life before the most traumatic thing has happened to me. And it's just, like, he's helped me do a lot. Even though it's a dog, he was my emotional support system. I don't have to cry. <laughs> he has literally helped me overcome some of my PTSD and I love it and it's like even if my parents were getting on my nerves guess who I went to guess who I went to my dog me oops me and him would sleep together but that was my sleeping buddy we would sometimes be in the bed cuddling <laughs> sometimes he would like get sick and tired of me moving a lot and he would just move to the end of the bed and every time oh I forgot about the back of my head and every time I start to talk about him, I get so upset. And I understand it. I'm grieving. But it's so annoying. They were like, we had an assignment. Well, one, okay. We had these things called WRNs. And Mr. I mean, Mr. D, that's what we're going to call him. He keeps giving us these sad poems to read. It's English. And so they all remind me of my dog. And every time I'm writing my WRN, I start crying. And then we was talking in ethics class, and um, it was like five top values. And my fifth one was my dog, due to the fact that he's not alive no more, so he's my on the fifth, but he's still up there. And he was like, how do you give time to something that's not there? And I was like, mental capacity. Well, he put that in. And I was like, I still think about him, so I give him my time. And then I was like, I can't even hold you. I'm starting to get upset right now when I start talking about it. It's just so, it's affecting my mental health so much. I truly miss that dog. I being without him has been hard. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. If you see a big jump cut, it's like a jump cut where it's like you, you see my face start getting red. Yeah, I'm crying. Like I never thought a dog dying would affect me so much. Cause even though it's Prince, it's just like, it's a dog. But then, <laughs> a dog is a person you can trust with the most information because they can't tell anybody. They, ah, they're not able to. Sometimes Gabby would be getting smart at me and I would turn to the dog cause he'd be in my bed. I'm like, is she talking to me? And me, I would literally talk to that dog. I don't know, I've been getting like a lot of flashbacks lately. Of some of the things I did with this dog. And it hurts. It, it hurts. 
It's hard to not think about him because I really do love him. Off topic of the life update, I was watching the presidential election, and when I tell you, it's like, I personally am not going to put it myself in a category of Democratic, Republican, third party. I'm just not going to do that. I feel like I'm setting myself up for failure for that. But, this man, Donald Trump, is a little wild. He's shaming Biden. For wearing a mask in a global pandemic. But he still wears me. He says, I wear one when I feel necessary. It's not saying when you go out, sir. Sir, come on now. I know you're lying. And he's so disrespectful. He would not let the moderator, I think his name is. Well, not his name. But he wouldn't let the moderator talk. He keeps cutting Biden off. Biden just listens to him. He laughs, but he listens to him whenever he talks. And it's just like, why can't you do the same? You sound stupid, Orange. Okay? You sound stupid. Hey. You, you just sound dumb. It's just, everything that comes out of this man's mouth, I do not agree with whatsoever. And can someone educate me on Obamacare? Of course I know it's like care for people, like medical. But like I need someone to educate me more because he keeps saying that he wants to... I'm going to educate myself too, but I don't want someone else to do it too. But he keeps saying that he wants to get rid of it and I want to know exactly why he wants to get rid of it. But then Biden is like, uh, you're getting rid of... Uh, Medical help for, I think, health insurance. One of the two. Well, same thing. Somewhat. And for thousands of people. And da 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 And I'm just like, I'm confused on why he wants to get rid of it. He hasn't really been explaining it. So. And there was that one lady he was talking about in the beginning, the first question. And he was just like, she's educated. Her professor said she's the best one. Da -da -da. I'm like, so you can't give no other reasons why you want her? He's like, I think she'll be a good fit. Why would she be a good fit, sir? Because she's educated. Okay, what else is she? What else is she? What is she educated on? What does she know? How can she help you? That's simple. That, well, not for me, I don't know the person. I can't remember her name. But still, it's that simple. Back on mental health, I think I'm gonna go back to therapy. I don't know. This is just the fact that I keep thinking about this dog. But I don't know what my therapist specializes in. Like, I know I went to the clinic for PTSD, depression. I meant to say aunt. But, like, I don't know if she just specializes in depression. I think she specializes in PTSD because we mainly talked about my traumatic events, events and more so on that, like, the quizzes I've had to take on that, and other than the fact that when I'm just talking about my day. But it's just, like, so I think she specializes in PTSD, so I think I'll be good. But I still tell her about anything regardless. So I think I'm going to put myself back in therapy for, like, a week or two. Well, that's only two sessions. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I look at myself in the mirror, and I always have to tell myself, you are not your hair. I've made it clear to myself that even with my hair, even when it looks a hot mess, I still look good. I feel like people like to define themselves based upon their hair and how their hair looks, and they don't only think about their face. Literally, I'm only looking at my face now, and I think I look beautiful. You know, I hate my teeth right now because my one of my feelings got taken out. Dude, the fact that I bit on something and it came out. I ran into a wall fifth grade year and two things went flying out. I have two triangles on my teeth. I got fillings and one of them came out. That's the point. That's why you guys see that, uh, this chip. Yeah, that's what that is. And I've had to remind myself that that chip does not also define who I am. It does not make me ugly. I've gotten used to it over quarantine. I've had it since, like, May, June. And I was dating whatever his face is at the time. So I know it had to be in May. Or April. No, I don't think it was before my birthday. So, like, if you ever just see me looking at myself in a camera whenever I'm doing a video, it's just, I'm just letting myself know internally that I am beautiful. Even with these thin spots in my hair, even with these thin spots in my head that look ugly to me, it does not define who I am. My hair looking a hot mess does not define who I am. That's what a lot of people don't understand. That's why a lot of people don't understand why I go out looking like anything, because I don't care. This, this, not not my boobs, my, my shirts, <laughs> my, my style, my pants, my shoes do not define who I am. I'm getting into poetry face right now, but it doesn't. And that's what people think. People think materialistic things, even though my hair isn't materialistic, materialistic things define who they are. You're stupid! 
It's just no, you're beautiful without the hair. Even though, even if your hair looks ugly to you or others, it doesn't define you anymore. I have to remember that because I look bad in this camera with this lighting. You guys see what I'm seeing now? Because that's really weird. I'm like, right here. The lighting's still different. The lighting looks better in the mirror. If I had my other lights, it would be better. But now I'm going to, do I want to grease my scalp too? I feel like it's too much blocking because I haven't oiled my scalp in a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the wild breath and then I'm going to brush my teeth. I wish I could say this at the end of this video, but it's not. Because I still gotta brush my teeth and I, I wash my face. I gotta put more stuff on my face. Uh, it's, I don't use, only time I use CeraVe on my face now is whenever I'm at my dad's house. Because I don't, I usually forget to take this over there. And I took this from their house. But, um, 97.7% pure aloe vera gel. I'm getting some more whenever I get, not my first paycheck, but like my third, second or third paycheck. I'm getting more. It's inexpensive. Because it was definitely has helped my acne. And every time I put it on, it goes down a little bit. Like, currently right now, you can tell, like, where my mask is at. Because that's where I'm breaking up the most. Except for right here, it's a big pimple. And then also, that spray bottle, the purple one, where I spray my face with, it has a bit of aloe vera juice in there. I'm trying to make my second bottle i haven't been using it that much because i'm trying to make my second bottle last till christmas so whenever i get christmas money all right i got a job now don't i <laughs> so i can order some new some more two bottles because it most definitely has helped my hair um and it has helped my face for sure this video is gonna be all over the place because I'm talking to y'all. I was just going to make a right when you're ready with me where I'm not talking to you. But I'd rather me talk to you while I'm getting ready because I wanted to get some things off of my chest. So yeah, that's about it. Y'all, you know my work day. So I work on Sundays, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays. And on Sunday, imagine that's me working three days in a row. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Sunday I work nine thirty to two Mondays and Wednesdays I work five to seven I mean four to seven <sighs> and on Saturday I work nine thirty to four y'all y'all that's a lot of time now I'm about to put you guys up so you guys see me brush my teeth oh my gosh but we got a new dom instead of picture she kind of looks like Prince it's weird but she's bad and she's annoying me a lot. Like, we got a potty train her. Like, she's only, what, 10 weeks old? I think 11 weeks now. We got a potty train her. She's peeing in the house because she's not potty trained. Um, so much more. I can The funny fact is I came in here talking about mental health and I wasn't even supposed to talk about that. Well, I was going to eventually, but I wanted to come in here and talk about how I'm so unmotivated right now. I'm going to add a little bit of cooking oil to my face because I heard it's good for your face. But I heard, I mean, I'm all good. I've been so unmotivated right now. Like, one, I haven't cleaned my room in like three weeks, y'all. I used to clean. I would, like, fresh it up, like, once a week whenever I got in my good state. But now I'm just so unmotivated to clean it. And then videos haven't been coming as easy to me as they used to whenever I first started, literally in April. And I don't know why, but it's just annoying me at this point because I want to, I feel like I'm having, what, recording block? And it's annoying me. Because I'm starting to think I need materialistic things to do my videos, like outfit videos, shoe collection videos, and I don't want to do those things. I don't even have a good shoe game. I have a good shoe game in my head. But, like, literally, I don't have that many shoes to do shoe collection. Currently, my clothes I have, I usually don't like all of them. And then I have hats that I want to wear that I don't want to have the hair for. I want, whenever I wear a hat, I want my hair to be coming out. And I want to do a knotless box braid video because I don't have the money to get the uh, braiding hair yet. And it's just so much I want to do it. 
it's a materialistic thing. Weave is materialistic to me. I don't care. Nobody tells me. Even though my hair is in, but materialistic is the weave part. And then the I want clothing videos. I want to do like um, Pinterest. Um, trying to do like a style for Pinterest, even though I wouldn't have the shoes for that. So we just would exclude the shoe part for that. But like streetwear. That's what I want to do. And I want to do one where I'm dressing up and girly. And it's just a whole bunch of materialistic videos that I'm going to do. And I don't want... I don't need it. I've been trying to train myself to think I don't need it. Will I do them in the future when I have more money? Yes, I will. But it's like right now I need to learn that I don't need that stuff. And I can't even do vlogging at home because I'm going to do it. But, well, technically I can. But vlogging every single day. Imagine you, I'm going to California now. That's why I can't do vlogmas. And I'm not about to record in front of all my family, including my uncle in his apartment. I'm not saying apartments are bad. I'm just saying it's too closed of a space. Nope. I refuse. Now, we guys get a little bit of vlog. Maybe, maybe not. If you guys go on my Instagram, I'll probably post something about it. But, like, I don't know. It's annoying. But, like, I'm still going to do Christmas-related videos in December. So, yeah. And you guys are probably going to see me do my hair and, like, get ready for a trip. Because I also want to get into acrylics. So, I'm doing them myself. Trying to, at least. So, yeah. Oh, okay, I got my head in the wrong. I just want to get up with you guys now. That rant actually made me feel a lot better. So, Thank you for giving me the space to record and share with people. So, yeah. In conclusion. Okay, wait. Let me show myself out at least. McDonald's. My pants. So, okay. I wear size 7 in pants. Um, they usually either are, um, what is it called? Too big around my waist. I still wear size 7. But they're either too big around my waist or they are too big, like, going down my pants. So, I said they don't do odd sizes. So I was like, size six. Gave me a size six. Too big. Those pants run huge. So now these, I wore khakis the first two times, but now I'm going to wear these two pants. These are school pants, and I have this black pair of pants that my mom bought me. I can't find it. Oh, size four. Didn't fit me. So she has to order me a size, my manager, she has to order me a size two and a size, I mean, yeah, it's two and zero. Like, and what if those two don't fit me? She's probably just going to make me wear my own pants. Which will be nice because these are comfortable. Those were baggy very much so. And I wouldn't want to wear them. But, y'all, yeah, also, working is hard. It's hard. We're about to have a jam session because I'm done getting ready. Um, Maybe put a little bit more deodorant on. But, let me put on my hat to show you guys my fit. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? May I take your order? <laughs> Literally, it, literally all I say is, um, hi, I'm going to help you. That's literally it. And then sometimes I take the money at the register. But once I this is hard, because I'm going to try to enter, oh, I got my nose. I'm going to try to enter the picture of how the thing looks whenever you guys order and how, what I see. What I see. I need y'all to cut me some slack whenever you see me. I hope you guys enjoyed my get ready with me and my little jam session. Um, from the end of this video, I hope, ooh, hope you have an amazing day. <laughs> and don't let anything stop you. Be motivated by yourself, not others. I could go into the other lessons last night in here, but we're not going to. And hope you guys enjoyed my rant. I enjoyed it. It got a lot on my chest. And like to subscribe. I hope you enjoy it. Help a sister out or dislike. It just lets me know what content I should push out. Job now, <laughs> and whenever you're going to drive things, don't be mean to people. It's almost like you're trying to figure out the board, just like you're trying to figure out your order. That's it. Um, peace out. <laughs>